Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a Sims 3 tutorial that I am really excited about. I'm going to be showing you how you can open up your Sims 3 rabbit holes. Uh, this is going to be a full-on series, probably, of me going through the town and opening up the rabbit holes. But today, we're just going to be focusing on making a completely open and rabbit hole-free uh, grocery store and an open and functional uh, bistro that also has a rabbit hole rug in it. So... I will be listing all the mods that I use down below, and I'll be explaining what they do in this video. So that's basically what this video is going to be. I don't need any more introductions. So let me just show you the grocery store first. So I rebuilt the rabbit hole entirely. Like, I did it in the exact style of what the rabbit hole was before, because I just thought it would fit in Sunset Valley a little bit better if I tried to match the style. So yeah, that's what this looks like. And also, I will link the roof that I'm using. It is custom content in the description below if you want to try to recreate your own rabbit holes like that because they a lot of them use those types of roofs um so yeah let's just scroll on down i did not use all the floors because i've never seen a uh double floor or a three-story grocery store in my life uh so the first thing i want to say and this is just a little trick that i learned when you are building your open grocery store or your open anything i recommend trying to find custom content like for grocery store specifically or anything like that that does not have any ability like no interaction for viewing because if you have something, like if I could click on this and it was decorative and it says view, a lot of sims are going to be coming onto the lots and just viewing everything and doing their little mwah, like their chef's kiss, like they're viewing art. And it was getting out of control. I had like 30 sims in here crunched into one corner because I had like fake toilet paper packaging on the shelf and they kept on viewing it. So I'd recommend not using anything like that. Uh, which a lot of the creators will give you stuff that you can't view because they probably know about that. Um, but yeah, this is what the open grocery store looks like. So I will just go through and explain everything that I have set up. The first thing that you're going to want to do, and I have this linked below, it's a ticket machine that was uh, converted over from The Sims 2. This is just going to let you, so I'll show you. So, oh god, she's in her underwear. <laughs> so, yeah. Once you are on the lot, you are allowed to switch this on. And what I use this for, you could do an hourly charge, which we'll be using in the future. See, she's looking. She's viewing to decide if she wants it. Um, you could set charges with it. Oh my god, shut up. You can set charges with it, so it's like that. Uh, but you could also set the minimum or maximum amount of customers. I personally like to set it for the grocery store specifically to 15, because I had like 30 people in here at one time, and it was a disaster. So this is great for if you want to limit the amount of people that can come to the lot. Uh, this only is functioning, this is only working if you are on the lot. The lot has to be active. So this will not be able to be turned on. Why are they all f heckling me? Is it because I'm in my underwear? Oh my god, change into your clothes. People are making fun of us. Anyway, <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can hear what I'm saying. So that's very important. We're going to be using that in the future, too, for a lot of the rabbit holes that I'm using. But for this specifically, uh, I found with the grocery store and the restaurant, you're going to want to want want you're gonna wanna have this just so you don't have a ton of sims. And as you can see, it pulls sims to the lot. So it'll pull 15 sims to this lot. This lot will never be empty. But what you want to place down is a food register. And then you can come over here. This one is the active one. Oops, I'm missing. So you just come over and buy. And as you can see, you have all these different pre-made recipes you could buy, pre-made foods. Lots of them, like crazy amounts. You could also just buy all the uh, basic groceries that you already had in the game. So this is completely functioning as a grocery store alternative. Um, it has baking products. So if you have, I think this came with The Sims 3 Ambitions, or maybe it was World Adventures. I never knew that this the food register would do this if you placed it on a lot that wasn't in like China or something. But if you have this in your hometown... It just functions like a grocery store, and it's crazy because I feel like a lot of people don't know that. Um, I was shocked when I found out about this, but yeah, you, you'll really want this. This is going to help. I mean, obviously, you can't even have an open or a grocery store if you don't put this register down. So the second thing is, if you look at the map, you can clearly see I don't have a rabbit hole of any sort for the grocery store. And the reason I decided not to have one is because really the only other thing you'd need it for is the career. And the next mod that I'm going to show you kind of circumvents the need to have a rabbit hole that will give you a career. The next mod that it's going to be linked down in the description below is called NROS Register. When you have NROS Register installed, all you really need to do is... I don't know why they have a dirty plate on the, or a plate on the thing. You'll hit NROS Register, Enable Assignment... And then you go NROS register select. So I'm going to select my sim 
So you'll go to whatever you think is going to be the quickest way to find your sim. It shouldn't be too hard. Morgana, Wolf, she'll be down here. Here we go. And you want to quit your career before you do this. I didn't quit hers because I don't care. This is why I personally don't put a rabbit hole rug down. Although I do have rabbit hole rugs linked in the description below. Because you will need those in the future and in this video as well. Uh, for the bistro. I don't personally put it down for this specific lot. Because I don't really think it's necessary. I have an active career basically for the sims to work on. Because you get money. You get $50 an hour for tending the register. And it is functional too. So I'm going to put this to like 10. There's so many sims yelling in my ears. And they will come up and they will buy from you. Alright, I'm sorry if it's super quiet. I had to turn the sims voices off. There's too many sims on this lot talking. <laughs> I could not hear myself think. So I'm just going to wait. I'm hoping someone is going to buy some food from me. It does work. They will come up and they'll buy food from the register. But it just seems like nobody wants to do that right now. They're all just chit-chatting out by the entrance for some reason. Uh, but you can take my word for it. They will buy from this register. Obviously, you do make money from it. And the great thing about this is that there is no career panel that you're going to get from this. There's no hours you're going to get. It's completely open career. So you decide when you're going to be working. Um, you can set your own hours, basically. And it's basically it's it's like an active alternative to the grocery store career. career. So I really like to use this. Um, that's linked in below and Ross register you don't need this if you don't want to be able to work the registers or if you don't want to be able to assign your own sims to the registers but I'd recommend getting it it just makes it a little more realistic because you can assign people that actually live in the town instead of having random people uh, generate there is like so much chaos going on there's a raccoon there's a wild horse earlier I don't understand what's going on so it works really well I feel like um, and it just gives you a little more visual representation of what your sim is doing when you go grocery shopping. Obviously, it's not as good as, like, The Sims 2 grocery shopping. That's never going to be possible in The Sims 3. But I think it's way better than just having a rabbit hole that you disappear into. So, yeah, that's how you do that. So, since I'm about to do the bistro, I'm going to go to Enros, register, disable, or remove Morgana Wolf. So, now I am no longer going to be the register tender clerk. I don't even know. So, now we're going to come over to the bistro, which I also made this rabbit hole. Or this based on the rabbit hole of the bistro. I just think that it would look a lot better for me to recreate the bistros and fit into the theme of what Sunset Valley already had. So here is my completely functioning bistro. Um, I'm going to actually call Thornton over here too so that he can eat with us. So the thing about this is I used a rabbit hole rug for this one. So people will still come up to this rug and disappear if they want to. Now look, I can hire fire waiters for this so this is a mod called a restaurant or it's not restaurant overhaul i'm gonna link it as restaurant overhaul because it has a different name i'm not completely sure this is base game compatible this basically means that if you have a diner a bistro or any other rabbit hole rug you're always going to have the option to eat outside so and you can hire waiters to wait on you so they'll be able to eat out here but also you could put the rabbit hole rug inside put tables down inside and when you hit eat outside they'll still eat inside so it's just kind of a way to like make them make a functional restaurant, build the inside of a restaurant. This will also work if you just wanted to keep the bistro rabbit hole and have them just eat outside. They'll still just sit out here and the waiters will serve them food. So I'm going to click eat outside, eat with others, Morgana Wolf. And they will go and sit down at a table together and then they will order their food. So I'm going to get french fries and an ice cream cone, even though that seems a little messed up. Now... I have had glitches in the past where she'll just, or one of them will just get up and walk away from the table, and then they don't get their food because they walked away. This, I don't know why, what triggers it to happen, so I think it's just other sims trying to talk to you. So, it could be a little bit annoying. Also, I do use the ticket machine on here too, I don't have it turned on right now, because I don't really care about pulling sims over here. Uh, but you can use that too. And as you can see, other NPCs will sit down and order their food, so she just ordered waffles, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, she's getting waffles. It's a little, like, it's a little weird because it's not like The Sims 2 where you're going to have tons of NPCs constantly coming down and getting food. Uh, but you still do get a few. A lot of them will stand around and just, like, play instruments or talk to each other. So it could be a little immersion breaking. But it is great if you want to just be able to sit down and have a meal. So here they are. They're eating their food. So it's completely functional. And the great thing about this, I don't know if I already said this, but you just need the base game for this mod to work. And then, obviously, you'll get rabbit hole rugs, too, if you want to have a built-in bistro like this one. Uh, you can obviously delete all these tables outside if you want them to eat inside. I don't really care if they eat inside or outside. 
uh, if it was ever super packed, where, oh my god, this blush, if it was ever super packed, you could obviously, we'll have a lot more sims eating inside as well, but it doesn't usually get that packed, just because sims aren't really programmed to eat the restaurants, or eat outside that much. So yeah, it's completely functional, you'll still have your career, you can obviously try to, like, if you wanted to waiter, uh, I think you can use this to assign, yeah, different waiters, you could use the register mod, so if you wanted to be the waiter, you could do that too. Uh, but you do still need the rabbit hole rug for that one. But you can have the active, like, waiting career if you'd like to do that. So yeah, that's, like, two different options for opened up rabbit holes that have active careers for them as well. Using just a handful of mods. So it's really easy, it's really simple, it really just opens up your games to a lot more possibilities. And I'm gonna be going through and doing a lot more of these rabbit hole openings. I'm gonna show you how to do open careers across the board, because there's, like, a lot of ways to open up careers. Uh, different things like open movie theaters open bookstores, open uh, schools, we're going to open up the schools, a lot of different stuff. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, then leave a like and share in the comments below uh, what you would like me to open up next and what you would like me to do a tutorial on next. But yeah, I'm going to be doing like a whole entire series on this, so I'm really, really excited for that. I think that it's going to really make The Sims 3 f more fun to play for a lot of people. And let me just give you another tip that I just thought of right now. If you are going to be doing this, like say you're going to be opening up all of Sunset Valley, and you don't want to have to replace the lots every single time like so for me I'm gonna download these lots after I go through and you know build them all up and then make a clean save for Sunset Valley Don't use this save that you've already been testing with sims and everything because you're moving them around you're getting stuff It's just gonna open up the chance of more like corrupting the save or like glitching or causing more lag down the line so what I'm saying is on this menu screen, so I, let's say I finish all my rabbit holes, I have them all opened up, I've downloaded them back into my game so that I have them in my lot bin. I would go to Sunset Valley, I would make a clean save so that I haven't played with any of the sims at all, and then once you've made your, so like, let's see right here, once you've made your clean save, you've replaced all the lots, do not play with the sims yet, go back to the main menu, and then whenever you want to play in Sunset Valley, all you have to do is copy that town over instead of going through the menu screen and loading up a new Sunset Valley and having to replace the lots every time. Obviously, we've got a lot more to cover in the future, and there's going to be a lot more mods to go through and everything in future videos, but for this one, I think it's pretty easy and simple, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.